Welcome to a lesson on constructing an altitude of a triangle using Geometer Sketchpad. So here we're going to start with an obtuse triangle and construct the altitude from this vertex. So we're going to construct a segment from this point to the opposite side so that that segment would be perpendicular to the opposite side. So by the way we should be able to determine that we're going to have to extend this side because the altitude would be somewhere over here in this direction. So let's go ahead and click on the selection tool, click on the two endpoints of the opposite side, go up to construct and select line. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and change the color to green. Now we'll go ahead and unselect this line by clicking anywhere in the white area. And now we want to construct a circle with the center at this vertex that intersects the opposite side in two points. So now we'll select the circle tool, click on this vertex, and construct a circle large enough so that it intersects the opposite side in two points. So maybe something like this. Now we want to determine the exact points of intersection of the opposite side and this circle. So we'll click on the selection tool and then the line that extends the side go up to construct and then select intersections. Now what we want to do is construct two congruent circles where one circle has a center at this point of intersection and the other congruent circle has a center at this point of intersection. Let's go ahead and unselect those two points by clicking in the white area and now we'll click on the circle tool again click on one of the points of intersection press and hold down the mouse key and construct our circle. We want to make sure that the circle extends past what we think would be the midpoint of the segment between these two points of intersection. Maybe somewhere in here. Now with the circle selected we're going to go ahead and go up here and click on measure and, and then radius. This will allow us to construct a congruent circle from the other point of intersection. So now we'll click on the selection tool and then we'll click on the other point of intersection here, go up to construct and then select circle by center plus radius. So now we have two congruent circles and the altitude will pass through the points of intersection of these two circles and the vertex of the triangle. Let's go ahead and select the other circle so that both circles are selected and then we'll construct the intersections of the two circles. So with these two points of intersection selected, let's go ahead and also select the vertex and we'll construct a line through these three points. So construct line. Let's go ahead and right click on this line and change the color to blue. Now the altitude, remember, is a line segment. So the altitude will be from this vertex to the point of intersection of this blue line and the extension of the opposite side. However, if you're trying to determine the intersection of the three altitudes, you do want to make this a line because remember, based upon the type of triangle, the intersection of the three altitudes may be inside, on, or outside the triangle. With this line selected, let's go ahead and also select the line that extended the opposite side here, let's determine the point of intersection of these two lines. So we'll go up to construct, intersection, and the last step we'll go ahead and construct the line segment that would be the actual altitude. So we'll select this point here and this vertex, go up to construct, and then select segment. Let's go ahead and make this thick by right clicking and then select thick. So this would be the altitude of the line segment from this vertex to the opposite side that's perpendicular to the opposite side. I hope you found this video helpful.